Hello and welcome to ESPN Crick Info Dailies. I'm Jason Dacey with the top cricket news this Tuesday. First up, a member of the India women's team alleges she was approached to fix matches earlier this year. Dinesh Kartik tenders an unconditional apology to the BCCI for violating a clause of his central contract and Bangladesh make changes to their T20i squad. A member of the India women's team was allegedly approached to fix matches earlier this year. The alleged incident, which the player reported to the BCCI's anti-corruption unit, took place in February ahead of the limited overs home series against England. The ACU has registered an FIR with the Bengaluru police against two individuals, Rakesh Bafna and Jitendra Kotari, for the alleged approach. The case has been registered under four sections of the IPC, including Section 420, which pertains to cheating and dishonestly inducing delivery of property. The BCCI's anti-corruption head, Ajit Singh Chikawa, said Jitendra Kotari was trying to sell himself as the manager of various women's cricketers, and it was he who introduced Rakesh Bafna to the player. He then approached her to fix matches and play according to the script. The BCCI has accepted Indian wicketkeeper batsman Dinesh Kartik's unconditional apology for violating a clause of his central contract by watching a Caribbean Premier League match from Trimbago Knight Riders' dressing room. As per the central contract, Kartik should have taken BCCI's permission before attending the match as his contract bars him from being associated with any private league. Kartik, who was seen in a TKR jersey while watching the match from the dressing room, which prompted the BCCI to issue a show cause notice asking why his central contract should not be cancelled. Kartik, in his reply, submitted that he went to the Port of Spain on Brendan McCullum's request and watched the match wearing the TKR jersey on his insistence. Bangladesh have made a host of changes following the defeat to Afghanistan, including bringing back experienced paceman Rubel Hossein and Shafiul Islam for their third and fourth matches of the ongoing T20i Tri-Series at home where Zimbabwe are the third team. Sumya Sakal, who made scores of four and a duck so far in the series, has been dropped. Apart from Rubul and Shafiul, Bangladesh have drafted in Najmul Hossein, the left-handed top order batsman, teenage leg-spinning all-rounder Aminul Islam and exciting young opening batsman Muhammad Naim.